incredible. It is that recording. Is Thank a you. damn fine fucking car. And it's oh. bloody fast on dirt. Nice. Oh really? That's like TMZ. Yep. Boom. Yeah, uh, what? Hello, Vustoners. Hey, oh, hi, Vustoners. I didn't see you there. I I didn't because I work ten days this week. That's ten sucks. days in in seven days. That's, like that Beatles song. Ten days a week. Tom, I hate my job. Working. Yeah. I need to find a new one before I fucking kill myself. Um, so you should do that yeah. then. Just go out. Just go to the job store and get I'll, another job. No, no, no. I'll, I'll, I'll load myself <laughs> to a job cannon and fire myself off to a land where jobs grow on jobbies. Yeah, but uh, you you should go like you go to the job store and then you just make a withdrawal from your exposure account and oh. your job. Maybe I can trade in all my hundreds of hours of unpaid overtime for just a new job. That would be good. Yeah, I would like that. Huh. <sighs> but yeah. Twitter is dying and the world is getting better. It's so weird. I just rejoined Twitter and I was like, okay, I'm going to try and make it work this time. I need to get my... You know, I just need to be visible. And yeah. Like, you know, there's a huge, like, the indie game. Why do you think I seen tweeted on there about is... you on that thread? Aww, thank you, sweet boy. Jason, your yeah. car is incredible. Thank you. I love boys. it so much. And, uh, yeah, and, like, as soon as I finally make the fucking effort... <laughs> Elon Musk comes along and he's like, "Lol, yoink. What if, what if I destroyed it in, and then in six months when it's lost all its value, say, "Oh, please help me, tax write off." Pretty much. <laughs> it's like, uh, I love it. It's like, I oh, am we don't want this. We don't want this for eight dollars. <laughs> we don't want this bullshit peasants and lords system. So we're doing away with the peasants. <laughs> 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 Only lords. Half the ads. Why are all the advertisers leaving? It must be the activists. No, no, no! Not half the ads. At your the oh, ads are twice me. as relevant. The ads are twice which makes, as relevant. Which again excuse makes me. me. Did you? Oh, I think I did link that thread where like. Yeah. The yeah. Dude, who is literally the head of the trade industry conglomerate thing that Twitter is a part of, yeah. saying like, "Hey, fuck you. This is our this issues." Is, and is... then Elon Musk just. Locks, locks him. him because freedom of speech <laughs> am i right guys it's my freedom of speech he didn't pay his eight dollars hey hey yeah freedom is free no look dude thomas my take us into thing... a race well hang on hang on hang on hang on okay. the only race. downside and, to this entire gotta, thing I've gotta is tell i can't i can't handle so the musk simps i oh I, I, I can't oh, it's not even it's not even funny anymore it's it's literally painful it has reached critical levels i i love it so much Okay, well, this Isn't is it a super stock weird race. though that everybody cool. uh, you know, everybody that you know who is a Musk sub is just, just a really, really big loser. Yeah, well, pretty much. Uh, Musk is a really big loser, and it's like yeah. birds it's of just, a feather. But my, the, my the favorite, fucking... my favorite tweet of the past week was literally um, people like Musk and Bezos prove. That no matter how much money you have, you can never escape being a total dork. Yeah, I gotta being say... A, no, but you see, even being a dork, th th there's redemption to that. There's like, a, you know, kind of a, a redeeming At least thing fucking in being a dork. Be Bezos, for all his incredible encyclopedic evil. list of evils and flaws, is at least like a CEO. and He's at least a, a business person. Yeah, he, he's an actual business person for all his fucking for all his disgrace. Well, I, I mean, yeah. Musk but invented Dion, Twitter. Musk is, no, no, no. <laughs> Musk, Musk is the CEO of like five companies. Yeah, but he's a he's a CEO. Like Bezos is generally beloved by his investors and his boards and stuff. And you know, they don't try and constantly get rid of him. Mm hmm. It, it's this quite the opposite race, with Dion, Musk. We're all on the same level. Nice. No, that's bad. I'll come last fair and square. Yes. Unless I beat Marcus again. You might. 
Also, no, no, Marcus, I, am, I am playing also, with Marcus, a hand injury. Marcus, Marcus, yes. you can't list the viewing at, on your top 10. It's not a movie. I can it's do whatever episode. the fuck I want. No, it's you episode. fucking it's can't! Over an, it's it's over an hour. It's a short film. It's not a short film. It's an episode of a series. If no, it was an ep if it was if an it was a collection, series, but it's a series. If, yeah, if it was a collection of short films, so, anthology. Like, so you you so you couldn't count like Empire Strikes Back or something because that's part of a series of films. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> of films. <laughs> yeah, look I know. At, this was a, this was but also, you couldn't Star count Wars Empire Strikes Back anyway. That didn't come out this year. Yeah. Doesn't it come Don't out you know every year? know how time works? They, they've never made a profit on it, they have to keep re-releasing it. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Avatar? Oh, Avatar hey, there's a trailer a that I was now. like, what? Oh, the trailer with oh, the blue yeah. people, oh, don't, they don't Jesus. like the, the slightly different blue people. That was yeah. hilarious. I'm like, oh wow, what, yeah, what you're a really twist. fucking breaking boundaries here. What a twist. I almost like... said Elon Musk. <laughs> James Cameron. James. James. J Jimmy Cameron. Cameron. Jimmy C. Breaking boundaries. Jimmy Cam. Fucking blue people. Yeah, man. I don't think you guys understood. People. You know when some of the blue people were a different color? Yeah. yeah that yeah, yeah. was actually a clever metaphor for people of different races. Oh. Sometimes hey. people are. Because sometimes so, so people what? are different colors. Dion, okay, all right. The 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 avatar understander has logged on. Dion, I need you to explain to me. What the I don't understand is, Avatar. Uh, it's too late. It's you way already, beyond me. It's it's too late. It's your brand. It's your brand. Yeah. Okay. Fair yeah. enough. Okay. Cool. cool. It's um, canon you now. You can't choose I your need, brand. I need you to. It's Cinebeard's canon. Yeah, Cinebeard's canon. I need you to explain okay. to me. Okay. What the symbolism or symbology is, uh, for Sigourney Weaver being the child now. Oh, wait, I thought that was a joke you were making. No! Again! It's not a joke! <laughs> what? The Gordy Weaver is their child! Sorry, I know I've instantly broken brand, but what? The wasn't she Weaver. in the full? Wasn't she in yes, the previous full? She died! Yeah, she she totally 100% died. She died, and not only is. And I'm not like saying, like, oh, she's voice acting the child. The actress, Sigourney Weaver's character, is reincarnated as their baby. Oh, it's probably like culture, you know, reincarnation oh, yeah? or they, something. They, wait, are, are I'm they sure that's not weird, like... or I'm not sure that's not weird or anything. I, I have a question though: is the is the child then just like I didn't know they could take digital de aging that far yet? Look. The youngest Jeff Bridges in history is about to come yeah. out on cinema. I gotta say, that's like, I think James Cameron was just like, I'll show Marvel. I'll fucking show them. <laughs> I'll fucking <laughs> show them. <laughs> I'll fucking reincarnate Sigourney Weaver as a child. Man, that was a... <laughs> Who is she, David Fuck you, Cage? Kevin Feige. <laughs> Shoot you what's what. You and Sam Jackson can take a hike. The de-aging arms race has begun, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, um, I actually uh, oh, I didn't watch the de trailer. De what is it? They're gonna they're like? gonna dig up Christopher Lee's body and cast him as Boss Baby. <laughs> yes. No, but 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 in but in for for serious. Um, in for uh, serious. As, yeah. In as you may have um, heard or read, that uh, Deadpool three is happening. Yeah. And they and... did get Hugh Jackman to reprise his role as Wolverine. Yeah. Man, yeah, yeah. I want to see the size of the bag of money that they dropped on this fucking dead. Jesus, so yeah. do I. I really do as well. <laughs> because but it must be fucking astronomical amounts of so money. So I read, uh, I read a thing today that, like, Hugh Jackman like admitted, like, yeah, most of the time it's gonna be a CG body because he simply cannot get back into that shape. No, oh, well, of course. Old. I mean, the dude's like in his fucking fifties. Yeah, he's like let him, like let him fucking. Yeah, let if him it, look, chill. if he goes on steroids in again, fairness, it's gonna explode his heart. In in fairness, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure dollars. like the uh, the last one he also like there was definitely a whole oh, bunch sure. of CG, a whole bunch of CG, a whole bunch of three hundred abs. Once again, yeah. they could only pump so many steroids into him before his heart explodes. Yeah. Pretty much. And like, I mean, come on, like, let the guy eat a slice of bread now and then. Yeah. Yeah. 
Shame. And that, and they also some, do. I mean, they do that thing. To, wait, he's Australian. Let him have a veg. Let him have a slice of toast with Vegemite on it for once. <laughs> Like they remember, like to film those shirtless scenes, like the guys literally dehydrate for like two days. For yes. days, I'm I think sure yeah, that he, does he wonders said, he, for your kidneys. Yeah, he said like it's literally like when you're halfway to the to the to death's door, and like it's at the point where they should call an ambulance. Uh, that's when the action. director yells action. Like I'm paraphrasing, but that's basically what yeah. he said. Fucking hell. It's, yeah, it's fucking wild, dude. Cavill said the same thing of his uh, Witcher topless scene. Oh, uh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, but, but and he said it was not horrible because he was sitting in water at the time and could have none of it. <laughs> oh, Jesus damn. Christ! It's just like in the Bible. <laughs> just <laughs> like it. it's just like just the just Bible, like Bible woman said. It is. I that's don't a, that's gonna be my new catchphrase. <laughs> just like in the Bible. Just like, just look, like man, in the Bible. Because you're probably my... gonna be right. One of my favorite catchphrases is just none of those words are in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> my my favorite catchphrase is just to end anything that sounds vaguely so philosophical with John three sixteen. <laughs> no one's gonna question you. Nope. Yeah. Austin three sixteen. Ah! Thomas, what you doing? Doing crimes. But you're supposed crimes to be gay heart. and then do crimes. But I'm only- I'm not gay, so I can only just do crimes! Mm. Speaking of gay... Um... Okay, I where's watched... this going? <laughs> yeah, this is a very interesting no, 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 start no, no, to a Thomas believe... sentence. <laughs> yeah. This sounds like a Marcus, yeah? Carry on. Yeah. Um, I watched... The new Henry Selick film, Wendell and Wilde. Oh! oh yeah. Isn't he Any the good? guy that did Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas? Oh my god! I am Ugh. so glad. I am no. I am so glad that as part of the press tour for this fucking movie, somebody actually asked him. Probably someone like me. Like, hey man, what pisses you off about your career? And he's like, do you know what really pisses me off about my career? The fact that Tim Burton gets all the credit for the fucking movie that me and my team brought to life. Well, to be fair, that... the title of it is literally Tim Burton's The Nightmare no, no, no. Before Christmas. Like, Disney is what fucked this. Like, Disney absolutely yeah, it's a mark is to blame it's a marketing here. name recognition thing, probably. Yeah, Burton was the name. So, it is absolutely Yeah, I mean, he was, he fault. just came off of the being, like, uber successful with Batman yeah. and Batman Returns. Yeah, exactly. Like, his name was up in lights, but still, it's yeah. fucking wrong. No, I'm, I'm, um, not, I'm not disagreeing with you. Yeah. I'm just but, adding context. But back to Wendell and Wilde. It contains real, non-forced, non-hammy representation of a trans man. Oh, yeah? Really? Impossible. Yeah! yeah. Like... Sounds no, very political. Sounds, sounds super they're, political. They're written like a human being. They're, Whoa! They're... Their gender identity is not the sum total of them as an individual. No, and like, that they, shoved down they my have, throat. They have, like, you know, developed personalities, interests, and, like, things that have nothing to do with the fact that they're trans. It's brought that's up impossible. twice. It's brought up twice in the movie. And that's it. Jesus. And you, and, like, first of all, like, it, it's, it's fucking well done representation. And also, like, a trans male representation is rare. Normally, mm. it's trans women. Yeah. Mm. So that that's also really cool. And the fact well, that I mean, that's just the well powerful trans women lobby, you know? Oh, yeah, it's the, it's the, it's the, 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 the left the, elite. The, the, the yes. Enron of... The Enron politics. of identity politics? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. But yeah, no, oh, Wendell, that's awesome. Wendell and Wilde is, is the, good. When, what, what is Wendell and Wilde? Is it like Wendell a... Wendell and Wilde is a stop-motion horror from Henry Selick that is about demons. Oh, nice. Yeah, and it's it's pretty good. Um, I, I do think it suffers from a bit of story bloat hmm. because there are kind of too many balls in the air and they don't really... <laughs> all land where they should, I don't think. Uh -huh. well, Thomas rather, said balls. Rather, rather they don't land when they should. They, uh. they kind of just are. And... It... Ah! Sorry, it, Thomas. That's fair. 
Oh, why is it fine when Jason does it, but when I do it, it's a war crime? Because you're a dick. Uh, it's, you're a dick. Uh, it, it, yeah, it's also all you about are a marketing. War crime. Yeah. yeah, it's oh, about our fine. personal branding. Also, I mean, if you call it a war crime when I do it, that's just anti-Semitism. Yep. Oh shit, I what keep are you? forgetting that you're Addy Jewish. Dash what are you, pro-Palestine, Marcus? Huh? Yes. Huh? Yeah. Yes, oh, I'm vocally yeah. pro-Palestine. Wow. Wow. Oh, yeah. Every, like, wow. everybody who knows me knows this. Holy shit, why are we losing so bad? Because this I'm on your a team. weird race. No, I'm no, looking this, at Marcus's It's not a weird race. It's not. This is one of the easier tracks. We just got off to a really, really poor start. And with these driver tars, it's kind of impossible to catch up. Is that why it's called impossible driver tars? Yeah. Yes. Unbeatable, I believe. The I'm just staring term. at Marcus's butt. It's a nice butt, though. Um, but yeah, back Not to bad. the wild. Incredible stop motion animation, and you could tell like some of the scenes they were just like flexing, like, oh, yeah. what can we I do? What it. can we do? And like the one scene has a car driving through a frozen puddle, and it just oh. looks incredible. <laughs> it just looks amazing. And when it happens, it, it's heroed um, in the in the framing as well. So you're just like they were just like. Ooh, yeah. we can do. Look at this puddle, look at the ice and the water, and then the ice reframes a little bit. Oh, it's so good. But yeah, good good movie, well animated, great vocal performances from everybody, um, and a nice. cool story. Sweet. Nice. Yeah. 6 out of 10. <laughs> Whoa, a, a, solid, a, a solid 6 out of 10. A solid lot higher than 6 out of 10. No, no, 6 out of 10 is the max. Yeah, is it? Oh, okay. yeah. because yeah, the one time Dion came over after a really long like uh, work day, and mm -hmm. his whole couch was set up, and his video games were set up, and there was a crabby's open for him next to the next to his Damn. seats. And... God, I love my wife. Solid six out of ten. <laughs> Solid six out of ten. <laughs> well, Jesus. And that was the day that Dion nearly died. <laughs> <laughs> well, gee, it, well, Jesus, I mean, if if your brother-in-law has anything to say about it, I guess it would be a 6 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. I mean, yeah, a Krabby's is basically a beer, and it was there waiting yeah. for you. So, on, Ooh, a matter, yeah. on a matter of principle, you you, you messed up there. Yeah, I, have, I have a question, though. I have one mm -hmm. question. Was Martino also standing there waiting with your slippers and a pipe? No, because she knows me well. That okay. would have that would have reduced her rating. Oh, uh, yeah, from uh, down from a perfect six out of ten. Yeah, exactly. That makes sense. So, uh, oh, finished, uh, finished cabinet of curiosities. Yeah! Nice, oh, nice. Oh, beautiful. I've still, got, last still one. I've still got two episodes left. You haven't seen Oh, Jason Evan. has two amazing episodes left. Oh, Jason. Have any of you cunt bags watched Andor yet? No. no. It's on but Jesus! Two, but season Fuck you. two is gonna start. Huh? They've they've confirmed season two. Yeah, yeah, they did ages ago. Um, the uh, I was gonna say like uh, Ruan, who I've struggled to get him to watch anything because he's so busy. Um, he eventually caved, and he's like, yeah, bra, but you know, I was burnt on Rise of Skywalker, and I'm not excited. I don't want <laughs> we all wanna watch. Were. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to. We watch were there, anymore. man. The, ma the magic's gone out of it for me, blah, 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 blah. And it was just like, eventually, he's like, okay, oh, bro, asshole. I'll watch it. And then he just wa he just sends me like five-minute voice notes going absolutely ape shit. And he's so angry with me because now he's caught up to episode nine. And he's like, you motherfucker, I have to wait a fucking week. Uh, why why <laughs> didn't you wait till it was done? Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Guys, that show is, is too good for Star Wars. It beats the absolute shit out of anything else but, ever done but, in I don't visually. Know, dude, I, I, I saw that IGN video with the, the Easter eggs, you know? There's some great Easter eggs in there, oh, hey? fuck off. Ooh, they, have to dig, they, have to dig, they have to dig deep for those. Because, <laughs> because guys, it's fucking... basically just like, yeah. if, if this wasn't set in the Star Wars universe, it would be one of those, like... You know those really incredible British thrillers that just win all the awards because they're just yeah. perfectly shot, perfectly acted, tension up the wazoo, like dealing like in, one, in, like that one in with, super um, real ways with Idris real Elba life. In it. What was that? Luther. 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 
yeah, but like with like real life stuff, like drawing from real life, you know, rebel things, cut, like pulling no punches, like it's 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 de delving deep into like the political industrial complex and uh, the um, the prison, prison industrial complex. Wendell and Wild it's, actually deals with that. It's guys, the show. As does like, Mad God. Andy Circus. Andy Circus does an act. What? what? But like in like, person, no. Andy Circus. Like in person, Andy Circus doesn't act. Can he just Snoke? No. Th that's yeah. th that's the miracle. When I saw him, I was like, ah, oh, cool. The show's finally gonna drop the ball. I can relax. Like it's finally gonna put a foot wrong. And his character, like his progress through this episode or two, is just like, Jesus fucking. There's there's no mercy with the show. There's no like tension breaks. It's just. It's real rebellion in the face of like autocracy and bureaucracy, and it's just it sounds it's like too right good for fucking alley. Star Wars. Thomas, I of everyone on this podcast, I think you will enjoy it the most. And like, I hate overselling things, but I also hey, really just want you, you to you, watch you've it. You've heard you've heard me sell things. I know, but I hate doing it because I don't like setting expectations. But I also really, 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 really want you to watch this fucking show. Like, I was reading articles where, like, Diego Luna's talking about how, you know, Tony Gilroy flat out refused to use, like, green screens or those sets that they use for The Mandalorian, the LED ones. Oh, so amazing. they literally, they will literally hike. He says they will literally hike. The entire film crew and cast will hike up a mountain for hours. To get a single shot. That's fucking filmmaking. That's like, fucking that, that film everything making. And everything that couldn't be shot on location is shot on massive sets in Pinewood Studios. But like proper, fully fledged out. There's so little, like Sounds in terms so of good. you know they'll do a little bit of like obviously the CG background extension for like when you see a yeah. planet, but yeah. everything else is just in the jungle like if it's in the jungle they're in the fucking jungle if it's on a mountain they're on a fucking mountain like it god feels... i love filmmaking and they just there's almost no american actors it's just like yes, the cream yes. of the crop of like and british is it, is, it, is it just british actors. actors and no game of thrones actors yeah and I, when it's... i say game of thrones i mean it in a pejorative sense of like those kids that whose careers were made by the show not fucking yeah. charles no, 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 dance no, no, no. and lena Headey. no 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 it's like no, but those are like Game of Thrones actors. Those are actors deep who are into, in Game of Thrones. Into like this, this talent they have in the UK, in Scotland. The, like as I say, I thought each week I'm like, are oh, they gonna finally fuck up? And then this this time I saw Andy Serkis, I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> and then <laughs> Here they, it and is. then and then he just rings a fucking performance out of Andy Serkis and the layers to it. The oh, just go read on Twitter like what people are saying. Well, see, it's this just... is the thing. This is the thing. All I've seen on Twitter is, like, praise from, like, cinephiles I trust and, like, Star Wars people going, oh, it's not very good. Yeah, pretty much. So I'm just like, like all right, so it's incredible then. Yeah, it, it genuinely don't... It's not even a Star Wars show. Like, it, it doesn't matter shit that it's... It also does the thing. Remember what I was talking about Top Gun? What got me so excited yeah. was... Jets actually mattered again. They weren't just sort of. They weren't full throw... scale. Yeah, they weren't just like, oh, 20 jets fly at Godzilla and he swipes them out of the air and, and goes, they're basically <laughs> mosquitoes. Like, jets. That's what the show does for stuff like TIE Fighters. Because everything's on the ground and in the grime and in the dirt, and then suddenly a single TIE Fighter flies over. And, and it's it like, is oh fuck. Terrifying. Oh fuck. Oh, fuck. It is We're absolutely all gonna die. terrifying. And I'm like, because Wait, Space Jesus did... isn't here to save us, and nobody I... has plot armor. I pretty much, exactly, I, I pretty much think that, like, Kat, like Tony Gilroy was like, cool, I'll save Rogue One, I'll reshoot your entire film for you in, like, four weeks, and get your keto in to score it, but then you owe me. <laughs> and but this, this debt is me. gonna come due, and it finally <laughs> came due, and he's like, you will Amazing. let me make the show, and do whatever and you will let the me fuck make I it want. However I goddamn please. Yeah, there's... Especially, like, I was very disappointed with a lot of the the output, obviously. Like, Book of Boba Fett and Obi-Wan yeah. were just, like, super lazy, generic, by-the-number stuff. That the fact that this exists at uh, all wait, wait. retroactively makes those shows so much worse. So 
much worse. <laughs> Alright, Dion, we're going to be doing a seasonal playground game. So tune yeah. a car, tune an oh, off-road yeah. car for B700. B700, okay. So if you go into your cars menu. Cars. And you push filter, the Y button. You can okay. scroll all the way down to off-road. Uh, hold on a second. I'm in, in the cars menu, then do I say change car? Or uh, do I say tune car? Yeah, uh, change car. Okay. And then you go uh, filter. Why? Off road. Um, I don't have any off roads. Ah, then it will give you one that'll probably be underpowered. That's alright. It's fine. Oh, I'm, no. I'm it's, last place anyway. I don't care. Remember, it's playground game, so like uh, the, the the tunes aren't as important. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, lose. Regards. I might get us DCMA though, because well, I mean not DCMA, but maybe copyright strike. Because look, look at my car. Where are you? <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, the the lawyers will come. Lawyers will come. But hey, we're we're 172 strong, so. Oh my god, that's horrifying. So, Dion, I'm gonna go out on a limb and assume that your uh, suggestion for the week is uh, Andor, maybe? Yeah. And or what? And ah, hey. Jason, I make that joke every single week. But, 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 Dion, Marcus made it before you this time. Did I? No, he didn't. Jason did. Oh. I'm, a, I'm no. a, Thomas. I don't know who you. Look, T I'm Th recovering. Thomas. I'm What's recovering. Going on? Thomas has voice disease. blindness. Oh, that's amazing, Jason. I'm recovering from a dread disease, and my brain doesn't <laughs> work very well. Um, Both right. those things are true. So the rest of my watch list for the week. Oh, I watched um, I watched an experimental horror film, which was Ooh. genuinely quite fucking uncomfortable to that's watch. That's unlike you, Thomas. You never yeah, watched horror. Yeah, watching, watching weird horror films from all corners of the world. Wait a minute, I have to see this list because I need to know if this... If that if the if film is on the list. Oh god! Did you did you finally watch the shell, the egg, whatever shell? No, something? no. Uh, I, okay. I mentioned that I, to Caitlin I'm tonight, and she was keen. I'm now not gonna watch it at all because Marcus said I had to. Yeah. What you did this, Marcus? I mean, normally Remember. that's my that's my brand and shtick, but I will lend it to you this one time. Thank you. Did you watch um, it, Dion? Obviously not, it's my brand and shtick. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. just said it, Marcus. I <laughs> just fucking said it. <laughs> the experimental uh, horror I watched is called Skinnamarink. Skinnamarink. Skinnamarinky do? It's yeah, just exactly. the same. And I it's love you. you. And it's a Canadian horror film, and it's super Ooh. minimalistic. There's four people in it, and 95% of the shots are fixed camera shots of stuff <gasps> happening off screen. <gasps> and ah, it's what? two kids what? that what? wake up. It's two kids that wake up at night and their house is empty and they don't know why and they don't know what's happening. Oh my and they god, just that is try I literally to have live. I literally have goosebumps. That is so up my alley. I, it, it it sounds a lot better than the last. Uh... Is it as good as the is it as good as the premise suggests? Look, it's yes Let, and okay, no. Okay, can, can I, okay. I, 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 I fully I fully recognize that Skinner Marink is not for everyone. Like it is incredibly slow pacing because like not a lot of stuff is happening. Ooh, yes, please. The, okay. oh, the, the kids are, the kids are just there. All right, all right. Thomas, yeah. I, I, I can is only chafe my dick the, so much. The, <laughs> the the last Canadian, like, Canadian adjacent horror movie I watched was fucking Tusk. Is it better than Tusk? Of course it's better than Tusk! That's like saying, oh, well, the last American <laughs> movie I watched was, insert whatever. Was something bad. I like that someone's you know, well, apparently just driving off into the fucking temple. Right? Yeah. yeah. On the, on the also, start Jason, screen. you're not going to get us copyright struck. Alone. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'll, Avoid I'll the there. infected. What the fuck is this? I'll be okay, playing so... Call, of, Call of Duty. Yeah, it's, no, it's no. basically tag. So it's don't tag. don't let one of the other team's cars hit you. What the fuck? Yeah. 
You are survivor. Avoid the zombies. See, mine is monster energy, Jason. Oh, jeez. And, uh, and my and, name isn't and even if you, Kyle. It, and you can cure. How? Um, you can cure your friends by if you are still a survivor and they get infected. By just bump. Okay. You, all right. Sorry. If but you if bump their into name them is to orange do this. and you are purple, you can save them. It's simplified. What? And Thomas, there's political... someone on your ass. I know, I know, I know, I can see them. Oh! Oh, are they infected I'm those orange... I'm hiding in plain sight. Are there only two of them? the Houstoners. I can see you there. <laughs> are there only two of them? Uh, no, there no, are everyone six who's of green them. is a zombie. Green? And my little mini-map, it shows orange and it shows purple. Oh, you can't, you yeah, can't see the green. Yeah, because it only shows your own team. Oh, okay. I need someone to save me. Oh, I was trying to drive up these stairs, that would have been so dope. You, you can't drive up the stairs, but you can drive up the ramp. Hey. Oh no! Oh, I hit a wall! Oh, come on! Oh, damn it, I missed him. Damn it. Oh, hey, I got him. Survive harder, Thomas. I'm surviving! Dion, slow down for it. Oh, no. Speed up. <laughs> yeah. There's a zombie on your ass. I'll, I'll yeah, block I see him. For you. Thank you. Oh, yes. shit. This wall blocked me. Oh, no. I'm gonna get oh. caught. I'm gonna get caught. I'm gonna get caught. You Don't get caught, Thomas. From my associate. Oh, no. I got caught. I got get it. Ah! I got God! Oh no! Watch out there! I'm the last survivor! Tag us, you bastard! Uh, you gotta catch me to tag yourself. Cause I'm... I, I've got a lot of people hot in my tail. I'm right. coming. That is hot. Oh jeez, I see him. There's a lot of them. I have to touch no, the I'm, purple I'm, one. Touch the yes. purple one. But if you want to have fun, you can also crash into Oh no, I ones. crashed! No, it's fun, I crashed two of them. As well. Damn. Oh. That's pretty fun. I like that. Yeah, it's fun. Now we gotta catch this. Um, but yeah, look, I, I do recommend Skin and Marine, but with, you know, caveats that you are watching you, an experimental you, horror film. I assume that's in your list that you put on WhatsApp. Yes. Yes. Because I will not is. know how to spell that. Yeah, it is there. I'm not a word scientist. Thomas, you were the one just driving off into the distance this time. Uh, you know, I, I, I heard the call of the great beyond, yeah. and I had to answer it. So, you see, Dion, now we are the zombies. And the purple are ones the... are the other guys. Yes, and we must eat their brains for sustenance. Sweet. Well, I flipped my car upside down. Is that how I'm supposed to do it? Uh, there's one below us, Thomas. Exactly. Oh, got one! That is exactly <laughs> how you're supposed to oh, do it. Oh, that was close. Get you, motherfucker. Hello! Oh, there's one up there by you, Thomas. <laughs> Did you got get him? him? Got him. I got I got two of them up there. Oh, uh, okay. There's there's one down here by me. I think. You, you want me to get him? He might have jumped off. Oh, so close! Boo! I got him. <laughs> I, I got him. You got him. Jason and I are cleaning up. So you better be pulling your weight. Uh, nope. Oh, it's fine. I just crashed off a, off the top of the thing. Oh, come on. I keep oh, trying to drive off the pyramid and it just keeps flipping my car badly. And they're resetting it. Oh. Uh, uh, oh! Gotcha. Gotcha, bitch. Uh, <laughs> I got that guy. <laughs> I got him, Tom. Don't worry. I'll pin somebody who worked. Got... Oh, I watched Enola Holmes too today. I am Enola Martina that as well. Electric Boogaloo. Yeah, I didn't it watch is... the first one. How is the second one? 
the second one is very much uh, the the power is that the people have the gotcha, power. Bitch. Oh really? The, Do the people have the power? The people have the power. Like on Twitter. That's good. No, on Twitter you need eight dollars to have the power now. Yeah, yeah. But, but but people. No, no, people with eight dollars in their bank account. Uh. Yeah. Oh, that's what I was gonna say earlier. Is I've been enjoying the mental gymnastics of like the same people going from. It's a great thing that he's bought Twitter because finally now there'll be free speech and will be democratized. To you have to pay eight dollars and if you don't, your stuff is going to be lower priority uh -huh. and get hidden yep. by the algorithm. And I love like that so that, much. That, that, that watching them like pivot between the two, got him. Very unsuccessfully nice. has been delicious to it's watch. Been fantastic. Do you recommend this one right here by me, or is it nice. not good? Um, it's fun, but it is poorly directed. Ah! I have a question. Like my life. Does the girl from Stranger Things actually do an act this time? Uh, to the best of her ability. That does not answer the question. <laughs> yeah, that's not, that's not an answer, Jason. Why don't we always play this mode? This is fantastic. I mean... Can, we can always add it in. Yeah, we should. Yeah. yeah. I watched um, the new Sam Rockwell and Shreshwar Ronan, who done it. See how they run. Oh. Oh how yeah. Do they run. They they run pretty good. Uh, the the movie's fun and it's it's really funny and fucking Sam Rockwell and, and Shreshwar Ronan are fucking carrying. <laughs> that movie on their backs oh, really? <laughs> it, it is it is it is hands Israel down Miller. yes it is hands down my favorite performance of uh Shersha ronan it's this is the best she's ever been yeah. um and you know it's sam rockwell playing an alcoholic inspector and she's the kind of you know up and coming hopeful one of the first women on the force after the second world war thing oh, nice. um and you know it's got Adrian Brody in it. Ah, oh, not this and... bullshit mode again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. It's just it's a lot of fun. It's well acted. It's well written. And like I said, in it really funny. Just really I'm really a funny. Oh shit! Ah oh, fuck! My hiding didn't work. He's going around the other way, Marcus. I I seen him. I know, I'm trying to do an escape. Wow, our teammates are terrible. They are, aren't they? Get here, get here, there you go. Oh fuck, you can go up on this pyramid. That's cool. Yes. Yep. That's the place to be. Oh, I see. It's just like, it's just like that Jet Li movie. It's just like just a- Just like that Jet Li movie. <laughs> just <laughs> like that Jet Li Oh man, speaking of, um... Oh, Jet Li movies uh, yeah. and John Woo. So uh, rewatched Hard Boiled because you know why wouldn't you? It's why Hard wouldn't Boiled you? and it's a and it's amazing. I fucking love that movie so much. It's so oh, no, I've been fucking infected. insane. Oh no, I've been infected. Um, it's so fucking insane. And... Yeah, save yourself, Thomas. Save yourself. Uh, on me. I tried. You drove past me very quickly, like you were being chased somehow. That went well. Yeah, that um, went really so, well. Yeah. I did it. Re Rewatching the hard boil, and I was. Th then we then you know have kept rewatching the old slashes, so we rewatched Scream. Yes. And then Scream Two, and in Scream Two, you hear for the first time, um, Dewey's theme, that guitar part that Dewey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do oh. Yeah, yeah. Did you know? Speaking of John Woo films, uh, after this mode is done, I'm gonna need you to pull it up on your fucking phones or YouTube or whatever because it, it, it is it beggars belief. So in oh, is it just the, directly stolen in the other John Woo in another John Woo film, Broken Arrow, the there Sorry, is a cause... main theme. It's okay. There's a main theme of of Broken Arrow, and it is 
100% just Dewey's theme. Rather, Which one came Dewey's first? Do uh, uh, Broken Arrow. Ah. Well, then I guarantee you what happened is they put it in as temp music, and then the composer wrote something of his own, and the producers were like, no, we really attached that other one, make it more like that. And they basically just kept doing that until the composer gave up and plagiarized it, and probably had it in his contract that he's not liable. The end. Nice. I guarantee you that is what happened. Do you speak from experience? Do you the, the tiredness in your voice is telling yeah. me you're speaking from oh, experience dude, like, here? Oh, dude, like, speak to anyone, yeah, who has to, who has to do music for hire. It's like, that. that's just the story of our lives, is just... Like, you, you try and get stuff done quick enough, or you try and work it so that the temp isn't very good. Because as soon as you get perfect temp, or you get temp that a, a producer or a director is attached to, they're going to do everything in their power to, like, try and force you to get closer and closer. And that's unfortunately the thing, is, like, it has to be the exact original. So they'll yeah. either end up forking out money for it, um, like they often do when you'll just hear, like, a random cue of classical music. That was probably mm -hmm. the temp, and then they, they couldn't get happy with it from the composer. Yeah. Um, the alternative. Or, um, or like, they'll run out of time and the composer will sort of squeeze in his thing at the last minute. But He'll just yeah. go, whoop. Yeah, but it's, uh, that's, I, I, will, I will guarantee you that it's never a case of a composer going, ooh, I'm going to lift this and no one will know. I'm going to take like, this. This is what was tempt. This is what the director sat with for months. And now the director can't let go. That makes sense. Yeah, we call it demo Having syndrome. Reason. Different different industries have different names. Like I was listening to Justin Roiland talk about, uh, like when Dan Harmon does the temp voices for Rick and Morty, and uh, like how often they'll be so attached to like that sort of just no pressure off the cuff delivery that he'll spend hours in the the proper studio trying to recreate it but never can, and then everyone's very sad about it. Um, and like that's apparently a big thing in voice in animation like so it's in all industries like if, if there's temp involved people get attached to the temp and then you as the the professional have to try and do the impossible which is match can, can, can that I, thing. speaking of can i have a, am i allowed to have a controversial opinion yes i mean okay. you marcus uh, sure, That's a nice, uh, but sure. A little off okay. brand, but okay. I am so, so fucking tired of hearing Justin Roiland's one voice. Oh, oh come on, us. he's got three voices. Come on now, Marcus. Three whole voices. Marcus, I'm I'm he's got tired. Rick, he's got Morty, and think... he's got Mr. Me6. I don't think that's a controversial Three opinion. whole voices. Yeah. I will say, like, I'm like, looking at this because uh, where this is coming from is I'm looking at that uh, new shooter that's coming out that uh, is which actually, looks, which actually looks surprisingly fun. Like, it looks I gotta surprisingly say, fun, but but yes, I know what I you mean. I also I can't to listen play. to that voice anymore. Yeah, I can't. I just can't. I will like, say the the one thing where that rule doesn't apply for me is Solar Opposites. A because he only does one voice in it. It's basically just like a less gruff version of his Rick voice, but he's surrounded it, yeah. by such an such an amazing cast of other actors that it doesn't bug me. Ah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, if he when he puts himself front and center like that, I, I I had the exact same experience when I watched the trailer. I was like, this game looks really fun, but I can't just listen to that voice. Yeah. So I'll wait for you know the inevitable mods <laughs> mods to like <laughs> replace the voices but uh, another thing about solar opposites is it's fine but you know where it really shines the fucking sea story why does it go so hard it's amazing oh the wall the wall yeah oh i love it so much it's like so why good. is it the wall the show or is that it's... part of the joke the fact that <laughs> the best well, writing I... is in the sea story I really, really... Well, I think it's just the juxtaposition of, like, classic, typical animated sitcom versus, like, 
this sort of harrowing drama. Um, I love Solar Opposites. I've watched all of it twice. Like it just it's yes. perfect for me because it's like yes. I like it, Justin Roiland's humor, but it doesn't take itself seriously in the way like where Rick and Morty gets way too self serious and cynical and tries too mm. hard. Like Solar Opposites is happy to just be a sitcom. Yeah. Which I like. That that one opening where I, I don't know how much of it you've watched. All of it. Oh, have you, that that one cold open where he's like he runs to his car and then he's driving home through the city and he's like ramping bridges and stuff's yes. exploding, just this like incredible entire action sequence and then he just bursts through the front door. He's like, "We don't have noses!" And everyone's like, ah. <laughs> "That was that sounds like a good guy." It, it was it's yeah. It's guy. it's even it's executed even better. It's that, so fucking yeah, good. That, uh, what, I I like the whole arc with the Q. <laughs> yes, that was so fucking <laughs> We're good. We're really doing this. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. All no, right, I, round I gotta say, three, boys. I I like Justin Roiland, but I like Justin Roiland when he's surrounded by he's like George Lucas when he's I was surrounded just about by to say people. That. Damn it. Yeah. Uh, I was politely sort of waiting for you to line. finish your sentence. Ha, you idiot. Idiot. You idiot. Absolute fool. Speak over or do not be heard. Yes. We're twins. Whee! Twinsies. Twin idiots! Because both of our cars are monster related. Oh wait, I was Dinosaurs a survivor. Dinosaurs are not monsters. Marcus, did yes, you think are. you were a zombie and you just went headlong into the opposition? <laughs> yes. That is exactly what happened. Incredible. Marcus is doing a lot of stepping on my brand today, I gotta yeah, say. We lot. need to have an executive meeting about this. I'll crash into Marcus for you, okay. Thank you. Oh fuck, It does make me feel a little better. I'm up top. Who are you, Rock so so uh, You're you up top. Yeah. Okay. I well, we've got really, one of our really, team members just really. doing fucking donuts in the middle of nowhere. So that was me. Idiot! Okay, I got a bad up there? because uh, a, a dude came up here. Okay. Right. Oh, wait, wait. I'm coming. I'll be yeah, yeah. Thank you. Ooh, and I Are didn't you... fall off. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I hit a tree. Oh, fuck. Are oh, you fuck. second level uh, or okay. top level? Wait, wait. Second level. I'm down here. Down. I'm coming! Oh, damn. Oh, I healed someone apparently. That's cool. There you, you go. I'm a hero. Oh. Oh, oh no! Save me! A zombie! Where are you? Uh, what was it saying? Down oh, bottom. right. I am enjoying the hell out of Mario Rabbids Sports. Oh, yeah! Oh, boy. yes! I'm to hear that. It I'm is also such a good the video game. Time. My but Sundays what? now are just like Mario. You got a guy Rabbids right behind days. you, Thomas. Mario Rabbit's days. I, Keep I gotta, talking I, about it, Marcus. It brings me great joy. Yeah. So gotcha. I haven't. Thank I obviously you. haven't gotten uh, very far yet. I'm in the, on the second world. Yeah. Ice world. And if I have one complaint to make, and it's minor. Yeah. Like. I just ri wish, like, in the overworld, it ran a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it well, does that's suffer what I say, from like, running this on was, a Switch. This was, this, like, Nintendo oh, got were big pretty fucked over. Problems. Yeah, they were really fucked over by the, the chip shortage, because when the Switch OLED came out, like, the Richard Eppert has confirmed, and I've also heard from oh. devs, that, like, the new Damn Switch, it. the dev kit for the new Switch were in the wild. Um... They were already uh, in developers' fuck. hands, and then like the entire supply chain just fucked out. Just and just the and fell. the so when the Switch OLED oh, came out, that was a stopgap where the new hardware was supposed to come. So all these games that were being developed very like closely hush, with hush, Nintendo, hush. like Mario Rabbids, like um, Bayonetta, and stuff, Bayo 3, were all um... actually targeting the new hardware. Um, and yeah. And that's also partly, I think, why Tears of the Kingdom was delayed as well. I'm, I, I'd bet very good money that 
um, the new Switch is going to launch in April or May of next year. Um, probably May of next year. That guy juked uh, you hard, Tom. I got juked like a motherfucker. But yeah, yeah. I, I feel very bad for the devs because you could see this this version of Mario Rabbits was definitely more ambitious. It w it's and, definitely more ambitious. Like Yeah, and it's really struggling. Um, but I mean, it, it, the actual... The in-game, the, the game is, is where it's at. But yeah, like in the overworld, I get a little frustrated because there is like input lag and a bit of latency and you spend a lot more time in the overworld now. But there yes. are, to balance that out, a lot more battles. And they mm -hmm. all feel fucking great and they all have like nice objectives. Oh, ah, yeah. and the sparks. The sparks just bring so much replayability. I'm going to replay okay, this so, game like so, 10 so, times. Okay, so, so, so far, my favorite combo is to put the toxic spark on the rabid Luigi. Uh-huh. Yeah, and that then is nice. just send him into the fray, because then I'll, like, have him proc the, the I did that with rabid Mario. Attack. Yeah, I... Oh, yeah, rabid Mario. Is... And then have him use his weapon, which then also gets buffed by the toxic to finish enemies off. Yeah, no, I... I it's a good combo. The, I buffed the fuck out of, um... Uh, Peach? Yes! Mm. Peach is a fucking... Oh yeah, that cannon of hers, holy shit! Jesus Christ, and it's obviously high up, so it shoots over shit yep. as well. Yeah, She's yep. a fucking beast, so like, my, and uh, I, I just love Rabbit Peach, because she's hilarious. So it's always just a question of who's going to be the third wheel. <laughs> um, I yeah, usually have it's... Luigi as a sniper, yeah. I like that long Luigi... range, and the steely stare going through... Um... Oh, you see, I alternate. Oh. I upgraded my steely stairs, so I've got three steely stairs now. And, it and is they just go like... through cover. So, like, basically I've got it where Rabbit Peach can do two dashes. So each time she da dashes, Luigi does a steely stare on the person. Yeah. And I'll often pair that, if the person is vulnerable to it, I'll pair that with, because I'm a little further on, um, with the, the, the gust. What do you, what do you call it? Um, oh, I don't the know wind, that. the wind thing that like blows people away. So she'll she'll dodge into people and then he'll steely stare them and knock them out of bounds. And we can do like do that with, two or um, three of I... those, and it is so effective. And then Peach just cleans house, dude. You see, I do I do that with Edge. Like I upgraded Edge to do three dashes. Mm. Mm. And gave. Oh, I, I she could do up to four the, or something, um, I think, if I remember yeah. right. Yeah, the, she, oh, the, the water, hell. the water slide, uh, spark. Yeah. So, so that, so that way, you know, it does. Uh, it only also it does water damage, which is great. Oh, the splash But it also one. does. Oh, yeah, bounces also, them. Yeah. Yeah. And it, I get good. so many motherfuckers out of bounds with that. It's so satisfying. I love it. The the, like the more. Yeah, the more sparks you unlock and abilities and stuff, dude, the game, it's, it's, ah, I want to replay it like 10 times because I'm can't, it's like, um, fucking Elden Ring, where I just, you just keep wanting to try different builds and you just want to like try different combos. I love it very much. Yeah, it, it, it is a very good game. Um, but I 100% agree with your, your minor critique of like, it, uh, the yeah. performance definitely yeah. needs... Needs work. We definitely need the next the next switch, or for the emulators to bump up their support for the game. Um, I'll happily which replay it on long? my PC. Yeah, it shouldn't oh, yeah, take long. Same. Some games stay buggy, but uh, this feels like one that'll probably, especially because it's yeah. Snowdrop, which is a like mm. popular engine. Yeah, should Look, be alright. I'll just yeah, if, like I don't want, I don't need it to emulate at 4K 60. No, I just like, want a solid 30. Like exactly, I just want, I just want, uh, I just want a solid 30 in the in the overworld, and I will be more than happy. Completely happy, yeah. Oh, and it's so pretty on the uh, Martina's Switch OLED. Hmm. Oh, I can imagine. So like, yeah, she falls asleep, and then I just like sneak into the room and just like pluck her Switch OLED out of her sleeping hands. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, so, a Switch OLED a, is okay, nice. So, so rec but it's... recommendations then. My recommend Sorry, Thomas. All right. My recommendation yeah. is, um, and it's the the movie that helped me make my my Japanese language connection. 
Um, my recommendation is Noroi. Noroi. Jason will tell you is Japanese for curse. Mm-hmm. Oh! Um, <laughs> and that, it, you, you can see it splattered over our final um, Ghost of Tsushima episode. Yes! I love um, and, I love that and, like you can name something like that and if it's in Japanese it's cool but if you just call the movie Curse it would be like one the... of those like rando ones on Netflix. Yeah. Like no, but The no, Evil no, Conjuring. The Bad Times. Um but no, Noroi is fantastic. Basically it again has a a creepy pasta premise where Ooh. a TV station is sent a tape from a missing documentarian. He went on a bit of a creepy pasta lately. I have, dude. I have because I like creepy pastas. When they're done well, they can be fucking unsettling as shit. I love it. But yeah, so uh, basically, a TV station gets a a tape from a guy that was doing um, uh, investigations into spirits, and he went missing, and his house burnt down, and his wife died, and he sends this tape in. And this tape is basically the last year of his life investigating all these different spirit, like, mm. happenings. Mm. And all of mm. the threads that he investigates start drawing together closer and closer and closer and overlapping. And, you know, the heart of the conspiracy is revealed that it is, like, ooh, there's, like, what, there's one. one scene. Do there's one. one scene where I'm Shut like, up. oh, That's it's sold. hello sold, sold. there. And I, I will tell you what I was thinking of when you have seen it. Okay, yeah, no, um, no, that sounds like horror, came out in horrors, and, if, horrors and comedies are my workout movies, like when I do okay, home weights well, and shit, so, yeah. If, if you can't find a copy of it, because I fucking, oof, it was difficult, really, really difficult to get a copy of. Oh, definitely, uh, let, let, if you have good internet. and I will send it to you, I'll we transfer if you have, it to you. If you have good internet, yeah, just like uh, we transfer transfer XL. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So that is my recommendation. Nice. Uh, Dion, and uh, I guess probably because uh, and then also like don't get into media composing because you'll have puss all time to compose to to consume media. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Marcus. Uh, I am going to recommend the best comedy I've seen in years, because I didn't get to what? talk about it. It's uh, called Gotham Knights All Cutscenes 4K60. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Is that available on YouTube? <laughs> it yes. is freely available on YouTube from oh MK Ice and Fire. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh man! Oh, actually, I do have another. Did you guys actually read? Did you guys actually read what I said? Yes, no? I did. With Batman and then murdering I didn't himself. Believe you. That's why I watched it. And then <laughs> oh. Was like, oh! And then, <laughs> and then, and then I was right. And then the egg was on your fucking face because yep. Batman dies, gets Lazarus pit back to life, and then blows himself up to destroy the Lazarus pit. That's no, but like the, the main reason he gets inside. Lazarus pitted is oh, is I wanted to be as that well. out. Yeah, it's okay, okay, can I spoil it for you guys? Yeah, fuck it, spoil yes, it. Please. 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 Because I'm literally it's never because gonna watch that. Okay. It's I'm because watch the Talia shit out of that. is thirsty. Okay. Yeah. What? She wants she some. Wants to, she, she wants, wants some from dick. Bruce again. So she, she brings him. She resur erects him. Yeah, literally resur erects him. <laughs> it's it's Jesus it's, it's that um that Power Wolf song, resurrection yes, by resurrection erection. by erection exactly. Uh, oh Marcus, uh, I did I don't oh. know if I actually mentioned in the thread I did finally watch Beavis and Buddy do the universe. I oh. almost died because again it's a comedy so I was I, I watch it while I'm doing weights because yeah. there's no other time to do it. I mean, that, that is a dangerous, dangerous thing to do. That is a fucking dangerous thing. Dude, I genuinely almost killed myself. It is so unfathomably funny. Like, how oh. how does he, how does my judge still do How it is it after? so fresh? How is he... It is amazing. How yeah, is he not no. washed up? Yeah, exactly. It is just... I think the break did him good, and there's just so much for him to work with now. Yeah. It is... 
unbelievably fun. But yeah, I think I still think the funniest scene is the one that I saw ahead of time, which is the white privilege. Yeah, the white privilege is pure gold. That is the whole <laughs> secret. So fucking good. No, it's brilliant. I loved every second of it. <laughs> yeah, it's smart beam. It's a smart butthead. <laughs> yes, yes, Jason, yes. Jason, what's your recommendation? Uh, well, I can't in good conscience recommend Enola Holmes 2. Um, no. Aww. So uh, because you don't recommend, recommend it. Episodes 1 to 5. Oh, oh I, I watched uh, episode 2 your cabinet of as much as I could oh, have. Oh, oh, how much did you actually manage to watch? Oh, I managed to watch a good 60% of it. Oh, uh, you... and fuck me, I had nightmares. Oh, shit, dude. <laughs> Lord. Totally worth it. We did warn it was, you. No, we did, it was we, absolutely... We did. It was a thousand, one thousand percent worth it. It's that perfect classic gothic feel that you yeah. just don't get outside of literature, usually. It's yeah, so absolutely. rare that they get that right in live action. It was oh, so I love it. well done. And so, traumatizing. My, my yeah, recommendation is probably going to have to be Mario plus Rabbits then. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Unless you've got a fear my of rats, in which case, share Thomas's trauma. Yeah! <laughs> I mean, nice. you should always share Thomas's trauma anyway, but... No, it's mine! No. Get away! It's his! Marcus? Jeez, you can't you're steal just a stick on and someone else's My trauma. My parents worked hard to give me this trauma. Exactly. Exactly. Oh. oh, yeah? It was handed to him, Marcus. Yeah. It's the low it's his bearing right. structure. He has white privilege. <laughs> <laughs> his dad... He's gonna work on Wall Street. <laughs> These jokes will land if you've seen the Beavis and Oh my god. Wait, so, when they're walking through that store just taking shit and they're like, We're yeah. redefining... We're redefining social paradigm. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> redefining <laughs> social paradigm. And then the police arrest them. They're like, You're just uneducated. Mm. Oh, it's beautiful. Right. Okay, well, piss off Eustoners. Go find something better yeah, to do with goodbye, your life. What the fuck is wrong with you? Goodbye, Mr. Dude.